going on guys? Cosplay Corey here, here to bring you guys the very first episode of Cos Tips. This is going to be a little basic series where I teach you guys how to make some budget tools to help you out with your cosplays. Today we're going to be teaching you guys how to make your very own budget glue pot. Now this little thing comes in very handy when I need to glue anything ready for my foam smithing stuff. And this thing helps keep the glue nice and safe and secure and ready to use when you need it. So to start off, we're going to give you guys the list of supplies that you need. First, you're going to need a small mason jar. You want to make sure that this mason jar does have the collapsible lids, so that way you can make sure everything's all set and good to go. We will be using that later on in the project. You're also going to need a hot glue gun and some glue sticks. You're going to need about maybe three or four for this project, depending on how big your glue sticks are and also how sturdy they are. Next up, you're going to need some type of knife or something to actually cut a hole into the lid. I recommend something like this or possibly getting just a small hammer and a screwdriver to create yourself a nice little hole. You're also going to need a pair of pliers. You're going to need to pull out some of that metal that's in that lid and you want to make sure that you're nice and safe there. You're also going to need a one inch brush. You can use any size brush that you want, but this is the one I recommend for the glue application. You're also going to need a few popsicle sticks. Don't need a whole lot. You're just going to need a couple of these. And then you're also going to need a Sharpie. Make sure that you have a handy dandy Sharpie ready to go, ready to use. And last but not least, you're going to need your glue and your contact cement that you're going to put in there. This you can find at your local Walmart or any hardware store. It's a pretty cheap little can, and I recommend that you use this to fill up your glue pot. Okay, so now that you have all the supply list, let's go ahead and get started on the build. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our mason jar, we're going to take off the lid, we're going to save this jar for later. So now that we've got our two separate pieces here, we're going to set the ring off to the side here just a bit. And what we need to do is we're going to create a nice little hole here in the center of this piece. You're going to take your Sharpie, mark off where you want to, just kind of in a general area. There's a little button in the most center of these, so you want to try to aim for that button. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our knife here and we're going to try to puncture ourselves a nice little hole in this. It may take a little bit of effort, but once you have it in there, you'll be able to create yourself a nice little piece there. Make sure that you are being extremely careful with this. You don't want to hurt yourself with it. Okay. Okay. So now that we've got the hole nice and punctured, this is where our pliers come into handy. Okay, so now that we have the hole inside of our lid here, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take and see to make sure that the handle of this brush fits all the way through the hole. So we're gonna recommend that you try to go through the bottom if you can. And you will widen the hole a little bit with some of this, but that's okay. That's what we have other parts of this for. Make sure that now that it's able to fit through there, that you get rid of all these little excess pieces of the metal so you don't hurt yourself when actually trying to put it together. Then you want to take your pliers and use them to kind of flatten out some of the edges around that hole. Okay, so now what we're going to do is your hot glue gun should also be set and ready. So you're going to take your hot glue gun and you're going to put just a little bit of a base coat around the edge to make sure 
that you've got enough there. Now this will take several coats to do, and it does take a few minutes to dry, so make sure that you are being very patient. Okay, so now that you have the real basic coat there, we need to reinforce this. So we're gonna, that's what the popsicle sticks here are going to be for. So you're going to take and just kind of slightly measure off and go all the way around on this. You can do it on both the top and the bottom, it's recommended, but you're just going to create some little support bracers there. So you're just going to kind of measure off a little section of your, of your popsicle stick here. Set this off to the side. We're just going to kind of measure this into like little fourths. And then you can either use your knife to cut them apart, or you can just do something simple by taking your pliers and just kind of breaking it off at each one. You kind of want to maybe press those down, just so you don't have to worry about getting splinters and other stuff. So now that you have these, you're gonna take and put just a little dab of hot glue around the edges here. And then you're going to set your little brace pieces here, just right along the edge. That way it creates some nice stability and makes this a lot easier to handle. Now your hot glue pieces may not fit on there perfectly, but that's okay. It's mostly just gonna be used as a reinforcement. And then you can take some additional hot glue and just kind of put it around the edges until it gets ready to dry. Now you want to make sure that when you are doing this that you seal up all the holes with hot glue if you can, just to avoid having any leaks from the glue outside. Then you're going to take your jar, you're going to sit just right on top, and give that enough time to dry. Okay, so now that we've got the glue all nice and dry, you've got your supports down here at the bottom. I don't recommend putting a lot of glue down here, just because the, the glue from the inside of this can counteract with the hot glue that's in there. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the top part of our lid and we're gonna actually put a little bit of hot glue in the inside ring of this just to help seal this all the way in to get ready for your glue pot. Now you don't need a whole lot of glue on the inside of this, just a real light layer. Then you're gonna take your piece here, you're gonna slide it down and then you're gonna put your jar right on top of it and make sure that you're able to screw it down all the way because you want that hot glue to press up against that lid so it's nice and sealed okay so now that we have your glue pot and you've got your brush on there as well it's time to fill it You want to fill up the jar enough to make sure that you are dipping the brush completely in there. I'm going to finish off with what we've got. One thing I do recommend once you first have your glue pot is that you kind of swirl it around, make sure that it gets all over the brush, and voila! You now have a fully functioning fully working budget glue pot. The total cost for this build was about $5 and it's going to take about 10 to 30 minutes.
All right, folks, that's all I had for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely do appreciate it. If you want, follow me on Instagram and Facebook for the latest cosplay updates with my personal cosplays, as well as to keep an eye out for when these videos get released, and for also making suggestions on different things that you would like to see done in the cosplay tip world. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Cosplay Corey. Let's go cosplay, shall we?